Hello and welcome to Tube Screamer. We'll be pumping your senses with great music, the latest rock news and a bunch of awesome stuff with this show's special guest, Don Broco. Uh, that is killing this right now. <laughs> I'm glad you're my friend right here. And Luca's going to be cooking up some delights with holding absence in Grilling in the Name, the vegan edition. Oh yeah, it's all happening. Let's kick today's show off with Of Mice and Men. This is Warzone. Oh, I love a bit of Mice and Men, but right now, this is the news. The distillers are back and all our punk dreams came true. Not only will we get to be in awe of the awesomeness that is Brody Dull, but it appears we can also expect some new music. Pierce the Veil Mike Fuentes stepped down from the band due to a sexual misconduct allegation. In a release statement, he said, I strongly believe in the empowerment of abuse victims. So, if I've ever made anyone feel like they're less than equal, I'm sincerely sorry. Fans have been asking what the future holds for Linkin Park since the passing of Chester Bennington. One rumour that was circulating was the possibility of a holographic performance. However, Mike was quick to cut it down. Replying to Alternative Nation, he said, I can't do a hologram Chester, you guys. That would be the worst. For any of you who have lost a loved one, best friend, family member, can you imagine having a hologram of them? Awful, I can't do it. He is, however, writing new music, and he said, I don't know what we're going to do, but we will figure it out eventually. It's official. A new Tool album will be coming our way in 2018. Some people were still sceptical as we've waited so long, but Tom Morello said he's heard it and it's sounding mysterious, sexy and very tall. According to Team Rock, Baby Metal have confirmed that band guitarist Mikio Fujioka has died at the age of 36. Using Fujioka's Twitter feed, his wife gave further details, reporting that he accidentally fell from an observation deck while star watching on December the 30th and passed away in hospital on January the 5th due to his injuries. Avenged Sevenfold have landed their first ever Grammy nomination for Best Rock Song and according to Billboard.com, Shadows is excited but glad to be in the rock category. He said, when you're in a metal category, it's not televised and it doesn't move the needle forward for metal artists and I wish they had more respect for the genre. We agree. So let's celebrate the fact that Avenged Sevenfold are kicking ass by having a top 10 Avenged Sevenfold video countdown. <laughs> This is possibly one of my favourite riffs in metal. Gives you chills every time. At number one, it's Nightmare. We're taking a break right now, but we'll be back with this week's guest, Don Broco. So the last <laughs> photo I actually took myself that wasn't like a screenshot or something um, was a photo of Matt yesterday on the tube when he wasn't looking. <laughs> <laughs> no. Welcome back to Tube Screamer. This week's special guests are Don Broco. I caught up with Rob and Matt to get the lowdown on their new album technology, and it went a little something like this. Um, technology. Tell us why technology is important to you. Well, I <laughs> would say it's important to everyone. It's definitely yeah. important to us uh, as, a, as a band. And, you know, I think like most, well, a lot of people, definitely Matt is a culprit of this. No, no. <laughs> a lot of people, you know, you just find yourself on your phone yeah. all the time without even thinking about it, you know, and just the kind of habitual Not nature. Not even achieving anything really either. So, you know, we're just like, just mindlessly flicking through social media. You love a game, you love that football game. Oh, I'm always yeah, I, lo I love it, I love a game, yeah. And I'm one of those people, if we're like watching TV, me and Matt live together like that. So, right. yeah. <laughs> so if we're like watching TV and stuff, and then we'll be talking and you know, about the show or whatever, you know, or anything, mm. and Matt will just be like constantly just like scoring goals. I know like, oh, I'm different, like I'll be on like Instagram I love that you look so something. guilty, you're like, <laughs> like, you're yeah. like, yeah, that's me. Um, <laughs> do you score a lot of goals? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean that's that's one side to it. But yeah. it, for for us, it was really um, you know technology as, as the name of our album was something that came about through writing a load of songs and pretty much yeah one of the last few songs we wrote was the song called Technology, which is particularly about social media. Mm. But we found a lot of the songs just technology was cropping cropping up and not in the most positive way. You know, it's it's amazingly you know 
such a vital part of, of modern life and must yeah. be useful. But you know, I think a lot of the things we talked about in the songs were where it crops up in slightly negative ways. So one of the things that did come up in the video for Technology is obviously the phones recording you whilst you're performing. Yeah. What are your thoughts on phones at shows? Because this is a topic at the moment, it's been going on for ages, hasn't it? Mm. Everyone's got a different opinion on it. Yeah, it's one of those things, I didn't notice it at first, I think. Like, phones kind of crept in, didn't they? And I don't mind people take, I'm kind of chilled about it, if people want to take a, like, a photo as a souvenir, that's cool, but then as time goes on, you do begin to notice people watching the entire show through their phone. Mm. Do you sort of think, I just think from their perspective, like, enjoy the moment. Like you can't experience this through a phone and I know they're playing it for maybe friends uh, recording it for friends who can be there or to play back later but realistically when do you watch a video back on your phone all the way mm. like yeah and I went to see a comedian recently actually um, who said at the start of the show he came out and he did this funny little bit where he was like hey everyone I'm gonna stand here I'm gonna pretend I'm telling a joke I'll stand here like this everyone take a photo and then we all agree we'll put our phones away for the rest of the show and I thought that was quite a cool way to handle it, that everyone gets the photo, they can pretend it was during the show, but then everyone was respectful after that to say, I mean, he didn't want phones out, so yeah. he kind of laid it on the line. That is a good way to deal with we it. We should yeah. do that. We should nick that, I think. But it kind of, it, it blows your entrance a little it bit. It does. So <laughs> yeah. Maybe after the first song. Yeah. First song, yeah. If I was to ask you to get your phones out right now, because obviously it, it, on technology it's all about the phone, mm. what was the last thing you took a photo of? Question. Yeah, if I keep, I think you should get your phones. I think okay. we should have a look. I think this is okay. I think this is going to be really weird, Matt. <laughs> and I'm going to apologise. I always randomly take photos of like where I've parked or something like that. Okay, <laughs> this is going to be really weird because <laughs> I did mean to show you this last night. This is so. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so is this showable to is or is, is this private? This is, well, I'll show you. I think it's showable. Yeah. So the last <laughs> photo I actually took myself that wasn't like a screenshot or something um, was a photo of Matt yesterday <laughs> on the tube when he wasn't looking. <laughs> no. <laughs> because I just thought it was really. I don't know if you noticed, but Matt's been growing his hair, and um, if you see Matt, yeah. see him. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, yeah, I just thought it looked really funny. He was on his phone. <laughs> and, like my scarf. And he had his scarf up, and it, I don't know, it just made me laugh. So I took this photo of Matt where his like, hair's really long over his shoulders. I was just going to show you to be like, yeah, your hair's definitely getting longer. Because <laughs> sometimes when you're growing your hair, you're like, is it really growing? So I was going to take this photo to show you, and now I've completely forgotten, and now I'm bringing up an interview, and it's really weird. Is that not yeah. friend? That's friend <laughs> goals! That is absolute friend goals, where That's you're like, mate. Sorry. Bro, your hair's definitely getting longer. Yeah, it's looking definitely good. getting longer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Confirmed. Confirmed, so yeah. So if you could highlight one aspect from the new album or one personal favourite moment, what would it be? There, are a few, there were definitely a few moments where like things clicked into place. Like, I mean, for us, genuinely, like, the album, you know, writing an album is probably the, the, the toughest thing we do as a band. You mm -hmm. know, once you're... Once you're on tour and you've got things rolling and you get into a flow, then like it's quite, you know, it's really fun. Mm. Writing an album, there can be like days upon days where it's a lot of lows. Yeah, you have like that, sprinkles of you highs. have that initial idea yeah. and you get that moment where you think, okay, this is a song, and then it's actually once you've got all the kind of building blocks, they're turning into a song that works. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think for for me, it was a song called Something to Drink, which originally we actually wrote really super quick um, for us. I mean, it was yeah, probably like a day, two days. We had the initial idea actually when we were writing our last album. Um, so it was just this phone like memo that I'd made and we'd forgotten about it. It didn't really suit the last album, but we remembered it and kind of, it just came together really quickly, recorded it, but like there was something missing from, from the recording and we couldn't really put our finger on exactly what it was. Um, it just didn't feel like, it didn't feel real enough. It felt like we could do this properly um, and just give it a lot more soul, as in properly like, as like an old school band playing it with like, just together in a room with instruments. And most of the album is quite like modern sounding, the production. Mm. So this is the first time we've ever done it as a band. We actually had a recording of it, but then re-recorded the song again. Um, and 
Belgium. Went to this studio called ICP in Brussels, which is amazing. Um, and they've got all this like old gear and just like really cool like retro sounds. And uh, yeah, for like the first time as a band, we kind of just all were like in a room with our instruments, kind of just jamming out and I guess recording like they did back in the day. And then when we heard that back, you know, on this like proper like old desk and you know, it just sounded just so authentic and real. And that was like a real moment where we were like, yes, this is how it's meant to sound. So that was a really cool moment. Technology's out. February the 2nd, very exciting time for you guys. And thank you so much for chatting to us here at Scuzz TV. Make sure you pick the album up. We'll have more from Matt and Rob shortly as they tackle the Tube Screamer pub quiz. Right now, though, let's get their video on. This is T-Shirt Song. We're taking another break right now, but make sure you come back for Grilling in the Name with Holding Absence, the vegan edition. We'll see you in four. Uh, they say that uh, avocados are one of the top a and &E bloody injuries, people coming in there trying to get the stone out and like, you know, stabbing themselves in the eye and all that. Welcome back to Tube Screamer. It's time for us to join Luca for Grilling in the Name. Cheers, Sophie Kay. I'm here in the studio with Holding Absence, and uh, we're going to be cooking up some treats for you today. How you doing, lads? You all right? You good? Yeah, good, man. We're good. Good to see so, you. So, uh, what's on the menu today? What are we going to be cooking? Um, today, we're going to make you some vegan burritos. Uh, we're a primarily vegan band, so like everything's animal-free normally with us. And uh, cool. being a touring band, we're always really skint, so nice, cheap bean and rice wrap. Nice and healthy yeah. stuff. <laughs> so, How long have you boys been vegan? Uh, so I'm vegetarian, so I'm a bit of a a liar there, but you add a bit of cheese here and there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get on with it. So, what we yeah, cooking? So what we got? What's, uh, on, so what's the, the ingredients moment, list? Uh, first off, we always go with the rice, just because it takes longer to do, I guess. Stick a bit of salsa in, get the flavour going. We've had the rice on the boil now for five minutes. And then, so halfway through cooking the rice, we're slinging a bit of this salsa. Get it in there. Lovely. Uh, so next, uh, we'll cut some onions. Chuck it over to you. I've heard you're a bit of a chuck us over a nice knife, bro. We'll get uh, chopping. Yeah, sure. <laughs> There we go. Nice indeed. So, process-wise, what's happening next in this dish? We're getting the um, onions and uh, what else we got there? Some mushrooms, black beans, black beans. Some mushrooms, yeah, man. So Lovely. Got like a fry on the go there. So. Wicked. So, are you boys seasoned cooks then, being vegan? I guess you've got uh, to know what you're doing. Kind of, man. Like, um, so we all, before the band, kind of like part-time worked in bars and stuff. Oh, and so you've actually like, uh, done stuff. a bit of cooking yeah, man, for like a job and that? Yeah, really? Yeah. That's awesome, man. So that's the thing with a lot of vegans, a lot of them end up just eating chips because there's nothing else oh, to I get know, when man. you're out on the road. Crisps, you know crisps what I mean? Like, Pot noodles as well, dude. <laughs> Pot noodles, yeah, because yeah, they've got soy in them, don't they? That's it, man. Yeah. Wicked, man. So, uh, you boys are relatively new onto the scene. Yeah, what's, dude. What's your aim? Like, what do you want to achieve? World domination? Uh, got any secret plans up your sleeve? I think world domination is a good start. Um, yeah, we just like playing gigs loads. <laughs> so, at the moment, that's kind of like the. You've been smashing it pretty much yeah. most Thank of the you very year. Much, man. Yeah. We've been very busy, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, at the moment we're currently writing our debut album, so... Quality. Get it out there, man. For that at the moment. Yeah, man. So. Blinding. So, a bit of background from the band. Where, where are you guys actually from, like, in the UK? Uh, we're based in Cardiff, so... Uh, hey. Wales the represent. Barfly, but you played there a couple of times. Yeah, like, it? back in the day, dude. Like, <laughs> not any time recently. Um, but, yeah, so we're mainly from Cardiff, um, and we've been a band for about a year now, so... Wicked. Any highlights of the year? Any nice um, festivals? We played Download done? Festival, which was oh, sick. Quality. Two of the Young wrong, Guns, yeah. We Are the Ocean. So, yeah, it's been, it's been a good start, to be fair. Uh, good, so, next, you chuck a load of beans in with this. Wicked. Get them in there, bro. Stick them in. When you're at home and you're cooking up your vegan treats, mm -hmm. you got a playlist you like to listen to? Any bands that have grabbed your attention lately that you like to uh, cook along to? Um, it depends, man. It depends on what mood you're feeling. If, you're, if you want to be a bit of an angry cook, you got, like, Under Oath is always a good one. Some he um, heavy devilry. And then, like, Bon Iver's pretty good to, like, chill out and... Yeah, uh, very true. Yeah. You got any favourites? Um, definitely Sinatra, man. Anything jazzy. Nat King Cole, maybe. Miles, uh, Miles Davis as well. So That's the nice, thing. Nice, A it? lot of metal bands and that, like, people think that you just listen to metal, but it's obviously not the case. Um, you know what I mean? You need a, be a, a bit wide metal, variety. Though, yeah, yeah, you can't appreciate man. it, but you can't be listening to it all day and night, can you? That's it, man. A couple more beans, I reckon. Come, let's get the beans in there. Mushrooms next, is that right? Yeah, I reckon we should have got the mushrooms in first. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> Sorry, that would have been my one. 
But yeah, so imagine this, right? You lot just come back off tour. Yeah. You've mm -hmm. been smashing it. And uh, you get to do a, a sort of at home with holding absence. Yeah. You've got a few dinner guests around, alive or dead. Anyone uh, in particular you would invite? It's one of those things, isn't it? Like, you always want to meet dead people. Yeah, but the dead ones ain't got much to say, have they? Yeah, yeah, they they What's happening next with this? This is going to take a little while to cook. It is, isn't it? We look at this fancy kitchen we've boys got. Come on, boys, yeah, get, get your elbows like in action. Like get them in there, get them in there. Get a bit of salt bay on the go. Oh, you need to do it with the elbows, bro. <laughs> this has uh, become a bit of a standard in the show. You've got to get the elbows out right, what and do the pterodactyl. I don't even know that. T-Rex. <laughs> Chuck it in there. Do both, man. Do both now. This is cooking up lovely. Yeah. This is looking I'm awesome. So people think a lot with vegan dishes that you need to put tofu and all this kind of stuff, but you lot seem to be keeping it basic. Vegetables. Yeah, right. You know, you don't need all these fake bacon and stuff like that. You can make just as good stuff with just pure, simple ingredients. Yeah, man. This is one of those dishes as well, like, if you are thinking of cooking it, like, you could just chuck, like, pretty much anything. Anything you fancy in there. tofu, I mean, coming along chicken nice. if, you, if you want, cheese, like, whatever, so. Yeah. Right, so this rice is coming along. We're almost there. So what's going to happen with the, uh, what have you got over there? Some avocado. Some avocado. avocado. Well. avocado. I guess we chop that up. Yeah. If you could do me a favour, start chopping that up. Yeah, man. We'll get, uh, there's another knife there. We'll get that looking lush. Um, they yeah. say that uh, avocados are one of the top A and E bloody injuries. People coming in there trying to get the stone out and like you know stabbing themselves <laughs> in the eye. But you're doing well there. Yeah, Don't chop off your finger. Sorted. All right. What do you reckon, man? We're almost ready to play yeah, this up. Yeah, pretty much ready to play up. I reckon. Right? Wicked. Okay, so there we have it, the vegan burrito with holding absence. Take it away, guys. Give that your best fold. And back to you, Sophie, in the studio. It's been a pleasure, lads. Thank you. Ooh, vegan-tastic. Press pause to see the recipe now. Awesome stuff. Be sure to check out their split album with Load. This is a one. It's out on 16th of February. And those guys are also out on the road together from the 28th of February right into March before they take the tour over to mainland Europe. Let's get one of their tracks on. This is St. Cecilia. We've all got one question right now. Can Don Broco knock Trivium off their top spot? Let's find out. It's the pub quiz. It's a very important time here on Scus TV because it is time for the pub quiz. And we've got Matt and Rob from Don Broco. You are ready. Do you have your pub quiz name? We do. Okay, hit me. Quiz Teamer Aguilera. First round is general knowledge. Which shampoo brand consists of two body parts? Head and shoulders. Oh, yeah, guess on that. What is the oh, French word for cheese? Fromage. These are kind of yeah. easy. Okay, mm. we're starting you off light. Okay. The Olympic torch is carried from which mountain to the host stadium? I did know this, but... You've heard it so many times. TikTok. Mount... Fuji. <laughs> <laughs> Mount Olympus. Of course. Oh, Olympus. OK, now we've got around. That's so obvious. Yeah. <laughs> On your own band. <laughs> Name one of the first three related artists that are associated with Don Broco on Spotify. Oh, wow. Love and Atlantis. Very good, Love and Atlantis. It was Love and Atlantis, Def Havana and Mami Knox. Oh, OK. There we are. Which of these celebs shares a birthday with technology's release on 2nd of February? Is it David Jason, David Beckham, David Swimmer, or David Duchovny? I want it to be Swimmer. Let's go Swimmer. It is David Jason. Oh. oh you look so disappointed. Oh. Yeah. Um, when your tracks are alphabetically listed, which one comes first? I'm just, I'm just thinking automatically. Back in the day. Wait, alphabetically. Automatic. I've got to take your first Automatic, answer. It's, yeah. it's actors. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, um, sorry. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad we failed miserably, so miserably on that. Yeah, well, I was like, we don't have any song titles with A. <laughs> okay, let's go on to sport. <laughs> Who holds the record for the most goals scored in the English Premier League? Alan Shearer. Indeed, 260 goals. Uh, that is killing this right now. <laughs> I'm glad you're my friend right here. Dash Wilder, <laughs> Sasha Banks, and Titus O'Neill are all what? Sprinters, man. You sound powerful. Yeah. <laughs> good name. Sprinters. Wrestlers. Oh. 
Uh, too what? powerful. Very too powerful. Too powerful. Yeah, they were too, you got the names were too you got the good. power <laughs> element that was coming through. What sport would you associate with the LA Rams? Not baseball. No. It's not. Are they, are they American not football? football? American football yeah. is the correct answer. Okay, now it is the stalker round. I don't know why I looked at you like that. <laughs> it's it's the stalker round. What shirt was Rob wearing when he got a picture with a koala bear? It was oh, like a yeah. blue like, yeah, Hawaiian. Blue Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, a turquoisey shirt. Yeah, I remember yeah, that day well. Good. Who tweeted practicing my roly polies ahead of the big London show? That would have been Tom Doyle. It was indeed. What was the Fair third over, song I? on the Ali Pali set list? Super love. It was indeed. You guys are killing this today. Uh, so, music round now. Which band released the following albums in the 1980s? Notorious, Big Thing, Rio. Notorious would have been 90s. Duran Duran. It was indeed. Yeah. It was indeed. In what band would you find Monkey Head and Fieldy? Oh, Corn. Corn. With a K. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Just to clarify. <laughs> Unlike Corn with the Q. <laughs> um, who released the second full-length album, Melancholia Hymns, last year? I'm not sure about that one. I think it's like him or someone, but... No. no they've They're old. done a lot of albums. Um, um, it's not them, but I don't think it is Marmosettes. Nope, it's Arcane Roots. Ah. Now let's move on to TV and film. <laughs> Who wrote the legendary boxing film, Rocky? I don't know. Let's just go Stallone. <laughs> so. <laughs> Paddy's a great guest. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone, no way. he not only starred in it, he wrote it as well. I didn't realise that. That's amazing. Oh, he learns right. something new every day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which actor stars in both Superbad and The Wolf of Wall Street? Jonah Hill. Indeed. Uh, which Marvel character is Bruce Banner better known as? The Hulk. <laughs> OK, guess that was right, by the way. Okay. That was like that. Laugh, man. <laughs> that was correct. Um, you guys are killing this. Now it's time for Guess the Year. <laughs> What year did Prince release Purple Rain? 1986. 1984, very close <sighs> What year did you first play Download Festival? 2010. <laughs> I like the way you're going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 2009, it was the Red Bull Bedroom Jam stage. <sighs> what year did Limp Biscuit release Chocolate Starfish and the Hot Dog Flavoured Water? Right, we can figure this one out. How? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, we were at school. It would have been two, 2003. 2000. Oh. I thought you were going to say it then, but you still did really well. Now it's time. Well, 2000 was his first answer, then he said three. Yeah. So first answer counts. Did you, first. did you say it out loud? Yeah, so yeah 2000. he said 2000. Oh, what and then he went, oh, and, and then he went, three. oh, and three. Well, he meant like all three. <laughs> but the first <laughs> answer counts. Nice try. <laughs> nice try. You should work in sales. So. Now it's time for the picture round. What is happening here? Okay, yeah, that was in Australia. I'm riding a metal horse. <laughs> Indeed, yes, you are riding a horse statue. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, name the album. There's half a point for the band and half a point for the album. It's like a Fight Star album, I don't know if it is. I'm just going to go Fight Star, but I don't know the name of the album. Yes, you get half a point for Fight Star. It's Behind the Devil's Back. And then, which one of your videos is that a still from? Priorities. Yeah, that's priorities. It is indeed. Just remember, remember that pizza. Yeah. Good pizza. It's delicious. <laughs> you remember the pizza. Mm. Love it. <laughs> Love the way you think. So, you're up against some really big bands here. You've got Trivium. They came out swinging. But I do think you put in a really good effort today. You got 16 and a half point, which puts you in at third place. Third place. Respectable. That's, that's good. It's that's a medal, good. It's a medal for me. Yeah. Well done. How did you do at home? That's it for part three. Coming out, we've got Don Broco taking part in our brand new feature, Unholy Confessions. We've been in travel and like used all the mugs. <laughs> That's not made, that made three cups of tea and then not washed no. them up. <laughs> Welcome back to part four of Tube Screamer. Next up, we're back with Rob and Matt from Don Broco, who are taking part in our brand new feature on Holy Confessions. We got a, a team of world-renowned psychologists to write some questions to determine whether you are saints or sinners. So if you 
found a wallet with a thousand pounds cash in it and an ID, what would you do? Just give it back, hand it in. Do you know the person? No, you, do, you don't know the person, but their ID's in there. Actually, I'd change my answer. I would post it back to them, if this happened to someone else, but I would take the postage cost out. Yeah, right. So I'd reimburse so, myself. Sign for next day. Yeah, I'd reimburse yeah. for the sign for next day delivery, but yeah. Okay. Okay. I think that's, fair. that's the way to do it. And you're both going with that? Yeah. It's Actually, then fans. again, people would carry that much money. Probably like drug dealers or something. Probably up to no good. I'd change my answer. I'd keep it all. <laughs> So you're now becoming a vigilante. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, I said that. One of your support bands asks if they can have your favourite food or drink from your rider. What would you say? Shut them off the tour. Yeah. He ate Straight my hummus! Straight away. <laughs> First day, they can have it. Right. Because, you know, everyone's building new friendships and everyone's on their best behaviour. Halfway through to the end of the tour, they're out of here. <laughs> How would you how would you deal with it? Would you go like? So it's like one thing. It's like your favourite thing. There's not many. It's like a. No, it's just your you know, it's your thing. You no, put that your, thing on the. There's thing one on thing. It's right. like there's a you know a certain amount of that. Yeah, and it, it's a finite amount, and they're like, oh hey guys, yeah, do you mind if I have the I don't know the snapple or whatever it is? Wow. Um, yeah. it's and never it's, happened before. It would be would be awkward. I'd probably do the same as Matt. I'd be really polite about it for the first few days and be like, yeah sure. Actually, no, I'd, I'd probably definitely shy away from the confrontation. I'd just start hiding it. I'd probably, <laughs> I'd probably wake up super early, like, get it in my bag, and then the next time they came back, I'd be like, oh, I don't know where it's gone, man. We didn't get I, would, I would give it to you, but... So you wouldn't go full Mariah, I'm, I'm not saying Mariah does this, I don't actually know, <laughs> and have a diva tantrum? No. No, no. Okay. no tantrums. Do Nickelback deserve the flack that they get? I don't. I, mean, I don't hear the flag. I, hear I only the hear the love. Yeah. Honestly, the people I mix with are all big Nickelback fans. Oh yeah. really? Yeah. We went to a wedding recently. First song. Actually, it wasn't the first song. It wasn't the first song on the dance floor, was it? But uh, no. A lot of Nickelback was playing. It wasn't their to... first dance. No, it wasn't their first dance. No. Bearing in mind, Chad Kroger got voted most ugly man. In the planet, on the planet, no, I think that was just, quite a good few years ago. It's just, but it's he, just childish, guys. He's a good looking guy, isn't he? Come on, give the guy know, a break. But a, he's not a bad looking guy, is he? No, no way. I think Nickelback, they've got some good tunes, they might not just everyone's taste, they might be hateable to some people, they but. They've got a couple of Stone Cold Banners. Yeah, they've got some undeniable songs, so. Still did a DFS advert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, what was the last time you got into a Facebook debate? I don't think I've ever been in a Facebook debate. Yeah. Never been in a Facebook no, debate? Never. Okay, interesting. When was the last time that you laughed at someone else's expense? I haven't laughed at anyone else's expense for a while. Someone laughed at my expense recently. I slipped over on some wet stairs. Oh. And I literally like went head over heels. I genuinely thought I was in that second, I thought this is it, this is gonna be, it. be the end. And there were about five people around me and everyone was just like you know, the, the way my neck landed, it was like, oh my God, he's he's done for. And then I got up and I was fine and everyone just burst out laughing. And oh, it was, wow. Yeah, it was a real... It tends to be that sort of physical comedy yeah. stuff, doesn't it? Normally just some crazy YouTube videos. So it's that, YouTube people, that people are like sharing. I mean, I can't remember the last one, but there was that famous one where that guy was trying to jump into a frozen pond or something. It, it is funny, that but it's horrible really at the same funny. time. And my new band is called Sis Kill. Really got some tap. Have you ever trashed a hotel room? No. no. We've never. We have done some something that I do regret. We've been in a travel lodge and like used all the mugs. <laughs> That's not made, made three cups of tea and then not. No, I'm up. talking about the time right. <laughs> the other day. I got I got dragged into something that I feel was unfairly, I got brought down by another band member who will not be named. Right. Who um, decided to start playing Fruit Ninja, where someone will like tee you up a banana or an apple and oh. you've got a knife and you've got to like chop it in half. Right. But yeah, we, um, we cleaned it all out, we cleaned up the room. So it wasn't very rock and roll, we sort of like made a bit of a mess and then cleaned it up before anyone came and saw it. Wow. Have you ever stolen anything from a venue? Accidentally, I yeah. Must have, you must have put like a 
yeah. a lead or something. We've, we've got like, yeah, oh. you turn it to the next place and you've got like mic cables that aren't yours. Yeah. Or the other day I got a uh, one of those world adapters from a venue in Australia that I didn't realise oh, was right. sitting on the oh, end of my... Um, oh, yeah, you conveniently forgot about that, did you? Oh, I didn't pack my stuff away that yeah. day. Not in a diva way. Just that, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't pack that bit away that day. My people did that. <laughs> I've never stolen anything. No. There's been times where I've maybe pushed the boundaries of what you're allowed to take. I, I love a good cup of tea, basically. Mm. And you know, some venues have great tea bags where they've got like a you know lemon and ginger blend or something. Oh like yeah. That. And you know, sometimes I have them like individually sealed and there'll be this tea counter, which you know you probably may use that for the time for the tea you're making there and then. And I'll be like, take one now and take for later. Sometimes four. I love the eyebrows that went into that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. What every okay. venue we now play. Just yeah, like they're going to be hiding the tea. tea. I'm sorry, I didn't really. Have you ever done a charity run or a large scale stunt to raise money for charity? We have, yeah. both of us have. Yeah, I did the Great North Run. Right. So half marathon um, and a skydive. Mm. Teenage Cancer Trust. You both did it together? Yeah. Fantastic. Was it scary? Uh, well, I, I've actually done another charity skydive as well. Um, so I've done two. So I, the first one was really scary. I found the second one okay because I've kind of done it before. Oh, yeah, we've done the one. And I found the, the bit going up in the plane. The anticipation was scary, but once you're in the air, you kind of realise this is pretty cool. So, last one. Have you ever trolled someone online? Only each other. <laughs> Yeah, but only, I think only... Rob trolls me every now and then. Only your friends, really, mm. yeah. OK, looking at this, we've been deciding whether the guys, where they belong, are they saints or are they sinners? And I don't think I've ever met nicer people. I think you are absolute saints. <laughs> I mean, what is going on here? I mean, when well, you get... Even with our badass stealing, <laughs> you didn't even make it onto the... You're... I mean, you I used mean, every cup in the travel lodge. You stole fruit tea. <laughs> that is the nicest thing. Okay, so um, yes, you are officially saints. <laughs> and next time we'll find out from another band whether they are saints or sinners. Well, that's the end of the show. A big thanks to our special guests, Don Broco and Holding Absence. We'll be back soon with more from Tube Screamer. Bye for now.